Hello there everyone and it's another one in this series at the end of the semester where I am responding to individual requests for students who are working on their individual paintings done by themselves and they're stuck on something and they want me to show them a quick topical tip so that they can try something like this at home. So, as again, I re reiterate this warning at the beginning of the videotape, this isn't asking you all to paint the same thing. This is asking uh, you just to look at this and learn from it. Who knows, maybe you are painting something like this. But this is definitely responding to one student who is painting mountains and snow top on the mountains. So, it's quite simple. You've painted your mountains, you've got your sky behind obviously white paint and uh, get a few good brushes here we go and just I'm going to start with a delicate one here and just put the peak on the top here you know where the snow is going to go La -de -da -de -do. I'm starting it quite neat you know so I can get it reflected at the top here Here's another. So, I mean, it's pretty simple. I mean, those are kind of, you know, those there's countries where you s all year round there's snow on the top of the mountain. I'm just going to make it thinner at the bottom there. So I've watered down the acrylic paint and I've taken a bit of the edge away. So it's thinly going down the edge, you know. So it's just a snowy, what you would call snowy peaks. It's not the Himalayas where you have Mount Everest, it's more like, uh, you know, um, like Chile or somewhere like that, or the Alps, you know, where you see not, uh, see I'm watering that down, so there's a little bit of snow coming down there, and you can see that I'm using the water, I hope you can see that, I'm using the water to kind of gently blend in the bottom of the snow so it kind of sails around the mountain you know it's just trailing off into the mountain giving some texture to the mountain if you look at any uh things like prints of mount fuji in japan it's always got snow on the top of it uh, it must be i think it's near tokyo but it was always painted by japanese artists and you can see a little bit of snow on it there. Now, here's another thing if you wanted to, I'm just gonna do one extra thing that the student didn't, did not ask for, but. Yeah, look at that now, there's the, <laughs> the brush rolls down and creates an avalanche. But this is why you have a rag, you can just wipe away and, uh, you know, like that guy on the TV says, there's never a mistake, there's just a, a happy accident there you are so I'm kind of using that to blend in there so those are snowy peaks quite subtly done and then if you wanted a little bit of weather take the brush with some white paint and use your finger now you can create snow very easily just flicking it like that there we are it's going this is going to go right down to the bottom this technique has actually got a name the French call it frottage and this is a technique of just skimbling the brush like that with your finger and bang 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 you've got an instant snowstorm you know and you can make it artistic you know some snow is not all the same size so there you are very quickly done that whole thing has taken four minutes and in that time let's see if we get the light on it Yeah, there's not much light here. It's a dark day. Aye. There. No, let's get that. Can you see that? No, there's, it's a problem here. We've got either the light shining on it. There you are. Maybe you can see that. So with that thing done, here we are just coming up to the five minute mark. So in about four minutes, 
there's been an alpine landscape in the snow created in front of your eyes. So another topical tip from Professor Scott. Feel free to contact me with anything that you want me to show you and I will do my best. So that's another one for this week. Bye bye.